word legend is thrown around a lot these days, and while some of this is simply hyperbole, those who managed to achieve the triple crown of motorsport are worthy of this name. Despite being an unofficial achievement, achieving this triple crown separates the best of the best from other icons of auto racing. The triple crown is made up from having a victory in the Monaco Grand Prix in Formula 1, the Indianapolis 500 in IndyCar and the Le Mans 24 hours in endurance racing. Achieving a victory in any of these events is a significant achievement for any racing driver as they have managed to succeed in the most well-known event of their chosen racing discipline. However, managing to achieve a victory in all three across three different motorsports is a task that may seem impossible to some and yet has been achieved by one man, Graham Hill. Starting his race career spontaneously in 1953, following some paid laps in an F3 car around Brands Hatch, he moved into F1 in 1958 for Team Lotus. The first part of the Triple Crown was achieved when Hill won the 1963 Monaco Grand Prix, a feat which would be replicated a further four times in 1964, 1965, 1968 and 1969. The next part of the Triple Crown to be completed was Hill's 1966 victory in his debut Indy 500. Attracting teams from Europe due to its large prize fund, the Indy 500 saw an influx of British racers including Jim Clark winning the 1965 race. The race the following year started with 11 out of the 33 entrants being eliminated in their first lap crash. This along with Jackie Stewart's mechanical issues allowed Hill in his Lola Ford to lead the final 10 laps and take victory. However, despite this victory remaining as the official result for the race, others believe that fourth place Gordon Johncock completed the 500 mile race in the fastest time. Despite the controversy, the official results still remain as Hill achieving victory. The final step to achieving the Triple Crown was the Le Mans 24 hours. As his F1 results began to dwindle and his career coming to a close, he joined the Matra sports car team and in 1972 took part in Le Mans 24 hours for the first time since 1966. With Ferrari deciding not to participate in the race and Matra putting all its effort into Le Mans, the duo of Graham Hill and Henry Pascarolo took a comfortable victory by 11 laps over their teammates. With this victory, Hill became the first and only competitor to achieve the Triple Crown, even if you include the variation of the Triple Crown that substitutes the Monaco Grand Prix victory for a Formula One World Championship, due to his 1962 and 1968 championships. Despite no other competitors managing to replicate his success, some have managed to come close. 13 competitors have managed to achieve two out of the three victories required. Juan Pablo Montoya has achieved two victories in the Indy 500 and one win at the Monaco Grand Prix in addition to a third place at the Le Mans 24 hours in 2018, making him one of the closest people to achieving the Triple Crown. The most famous attempt of recent times to achieve this is by two times F1 World Champion, two time Monaco Grand Prix winner and two time Le Mans 24 winner, Fernando Alonso. Since leaving F1 at the end of 2018, Alonso has appeared to be aiming to achieve success in as many racing disciplines as possible, taking part in the 2020 Dakar Rally, the World Endurance Championship and the 24 Hours of Daytona. However, his biggest aim at the moment is to finally get a win at the Indy 500 after a 5th place qualification which eventually ended in a 24th place finish in 2017 and failing to qualify in 2019. With him signed up to take part in the 2020 Indy 500 on the 23rd of August, assuming it takes place, this is where he'll get his next opportunity to achieve the illustrious Triple Crown of Motorsport.